Howdy y'all, I'm Gramps, and today I'm going to be doing a full walkthrough of how I do the KO Perico heist. So to start off the guide, we're going to choose our approach vehicle, which I personally use the Kosatka, so that way we can go through the drainage tunnel. The drainage tunnel puts you straight into the compound, very easy. For the escape point, we're going to select main dock, it's closest to the compound, it can spawn some secondary loot, you know, it's pretty good. And time of day is day, because night is just annoying and hard to see. Our weapon loadout, I'm using aggressor with suppressors. I quite like it because the shotgun can stun lock enemies and when you can't aim, that's pretty good. We don't do support crews, there's no crew cuts, so we can continue. Also, if you guys find this guide useful, be sure to subscribe. Only like 1.7% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed, and that number is quite frankly atrocious. So when you go through the drainage tunnel, you're going to spawn in the ocean from your Kosatka, so we're slowly making our way over there. So we arrived at the grate, and now that we're at the grate, we're going to have to torch through it, I think, I don't know what to call it. We're going to have to cut through it with a cutting tool. This is one of the prep missions you have to do if you want to go through the drainage tunnels, slowly making our way around, one by one. Once you get through these, you have to swim a bit further through this tunnel. He pushes the grate through, even though the sound is still playing. So now we go through this tunnel and go up to this yellow dot, and then we hit E because this is our entry point. You get this nice little cutscene coming up here with your flipper still on. So now this is the part where I'm going to start going a little fast, so feel free, feel free to pause the video. So I, I personally sprint a lot in this run, but you come up those stairs and you kill this guy. You can actually crouch, then coming through here is another guard. Make sure you don't get spotted by him. He'll always walk from the right. Then when we come up here, there's a guy walking over this way. You can look in the mini-map. He kind of walks towards you and then goes back the other way. You want to headshot him or do that and stun lock him. Now when you walk up this way, you want to be sure to get that camera so it doesn't spot you. Then I run through here. You can crouch if you like. There's nothing wrong with that. Now if you do crouch, the, a guy may be standing here already so you can take cover in that little door area. But personally, I took too long to explain that. Personally, I just shoot him usually when I sprint all the way through. He dropped gate keys which allow us to get through there for later. He may not always drop gate keys. Sometimes it can be... This guard right here, you have to also take him out because we're currently heading towards El Rubio's office. Then if we head up these stairs, there's another guard who will be at the top of these stairs. He'll usually walk down by the time you get right about here, there he is. He can also drop the gate keys if all three of those guys don't drop the gate keys. Then things are a little weird, but it's still doable. You'll have to kill a different guard, make sure not get spotted. But that didn't happen in this run, so I'm not showing off. Then over here in this corner, we have the wall safe. If you go in here, you can grab a pistol and I believe anywhere from fifty dollars to $100,000. Then we come over here, we hack the keypad. I actually have a short on my channel on how to hack the, the fingerprint thing easier. But I'll just show, I'll show it off for this. So what you do is you're going to want to set each fingerprint to be the top segment. That's done. Now, for each one, like, down, you, they're progressive, so, like, this one you go to the right one, this one you go to the right two, this one you go to the right three, this one you go to the right four, and that continues, and the last one is seven, and there you go, once you do that, it will do the fingerprint, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these using the same technique. Oh, I forgot to mention, one thing that's different from hard mode to the regular mode is the fact you have to do four of these fingerprint hacks instead of just three. It's not that big a deal, but that, that's a slight difference if you don't think you can handle that. Then once you get through the fingerprint hack, it opens up this door and we can head into the vault. So once you're in the vault, you just walk over here towards this door, you know, you burn the lock, assuming you have the cutting torch which you need to get in through the drainage tunnel. Now sometimes Pavel will give you um, a combination if you have to go into the safe for like the Madrazo files or bearer bonds. But personally, I have the pink diamond, so we're going to use page up. Go ahead, use page up even though it's the most jank key. Don't let it overheat, that's bad, that's not what you want to do. This is my fourth time doing it and it gets you through. So you have to do about three and a half times going like from all the way cool to just about to like burn up. Then you can leave the, then you can leave here. If you're with a squad, then I believe you can like go and get extra loot from that vault. But I am not with a squad of any kind, so we're not going to do that. Okay, so once you're over here by this gate area, you'll see there are two guards. You have to wait on this further away guard to pass by that car, make sure he turns, then you kill this guard, use the gate keys you got to walk through here, then before he gets too far away, dome him. And then once you're done with that, you can walk up to this gate, hit E a couple times, and you get to watch the most glorious cutscene of all time. So once you're out of the compound, you just run straight forward, you kill this guard right here, 
he drops ammo. You can collect that if you want. Then you're going to want to switch to your machine pistol or your long range pistol. Then hit this guy right in the head. Otherwise, the guards behind him will be alerted. Run up to these guards over here. Kill both of them. Stun lock him. Now if we walk a little forwards, you can see there's a camera. Kill the camera. Then you can take the jeep or the bike. I prefer the bike. And of course, you have to take this off in one piece. That's very crucial. So once you're on the dirt bike, you don't follow this road. Once you get back to that railing, you're going to go right and hold to the right very hard. You don't want to get hit by the environment. You just want to keep heading along this hill. If you get hit by the environment, you do in fact lose take. So we're going to keep going this way. And then once you get to where the hill heads down, you're going to head to the left towards the main dock. Make sure you don't get hit by anything. Then we get off right around these couple of trees. Then we can run forwards, and over here there is a camera and a guard. I'm going to shoot the camera, then get the guard. There we go, like that. And since I didn't get the gold earlier, we're just going to go in here and grab some free loot. Okay, so I'm just grabbing the loot off of these tables. Nothing very difficult. You just spam left click. Okay, now that we've gotten all of that, we can head back out of here. Be careful of the dude on the right. There is, in fact, a dude over there somewhere. I don't know exactly where he stands, but he will spot you, so be careful of that. Then we run over here, and if you look through these bushes, you're going to want to hit the guard that's closer. Not these two. This guy standing on the closer dock. That's so you can escape. Then this part isn't strictly mandatory, but, you know, it's pretty good if you want to get the elite challenge and you don't want to get shot and lose take. You come over here, and the dude standing next to this crane, you kill him. Then once you do that, you can just run over to near where he is and head to these little docks right here. And if we come over here, you can take either of these boats. The smaller one's a bit faster, so it's what I take usually. And this one always spawns, that one doesn't always spawn, so remember that. Then we can head out this way. Be careful, there is an attack boat out here. You don't want to get spotted by it. Hold control to do essentially a wheelie in a boat. Very important. Then just head out this way and you will complete the heist. That's it. That's the full heist. You've done everything you could. You know, in El Rubio's office, there may also be paint paintings, so check for that. But other than that, that's the heist done. If you guys found this video useful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other video ideas you'd like to see, comment them down below. And if I like them, I'll do them. So, I hope you all have a nice day. Bye.